We've been running expeditions from uh, the University of Rochester to the Canadian High Arctic for, uh, for many years. And in 1996, we uh, discovered uh, a series of vertebrate uh, fossils. This was a real discovery. We weren't expecting them to be there. Among these fossils, we also uh, found uh, very early on um, just uh, a few fossils that look like this. This is actually a cast. Um, of a very fragile uh, fossil, um, and this is a bird fossil. This is a new species. We call it uh, Tingmiat ornis arctica. The name Tingmiat means those that fly uh, in the Anuktitut uh, language. And the environment that we believe that these lived in was a large bay um, that would be populated by fish and champsosaurs and large turtles. If we look at the other side, uh, this is actually part of a large turtle shell. So if we were to think about what this bird might look like, we might think about perhaps a, a cross between a, a cormorant and a large seagull. The principal difference between those two is that this bird would have had teeth because it would have actually been feeding on fairly large uh, fish. This entire assemblage has told us that the minimum temperature, annual temperature, would be about 14 degrees Celsius, which is similar to the climate today of northern Florida. There wouldn't have been even freezing water in the polar regions because these um, types of organisms, the, the key components of the ecosystem, would not have been able to survive. What we're seeing, uh, we believe, in the uh, Canadian Arctic uh, at this time interval, 90 million years ago, was one of these hyperwarm intervals that was driven primarily by uh, CO2 outgassing from volcanoes. But even though that was short on geological timescales, it is incredibly long in terms of the CO2 forcing that we're putting on the atmosphere today in terms of uh, man's activities. This is really exciting for, for several reasons. One, it's a new species and it's very large. So it's telling us a lot of things about uh, bird evolution as well as the occurrence at this locality is kind of enhancing our knowledge of uh, what this environment was like during the late Cretaceous 90 million years ago.